there, I'm Aaron, a student on the RV Roger Ravel, and I have a quick question for you. Have you ever done something that your parents wouldn't approve of, like uh, playing video games after hours or taking an extra cookie or two after dinner? Well, you'd have to do that at night, right? Before your parents were awake, so that way you wouldn't get caught. Well, it turns out out here at sea, that's a pretty similar process for a lot of organisms, like uh, little shrimps, well, it's all plankton. They'll move up and down in the water column in order to escape predators. I was wondering, would this still happen during an eclipse? Let's go talk to Anne and see what she has to say about it. And I was wondering, would you be able to explain a little bit more in depth as to how exactly this process works? Yeah, absolutely. Deal vertical migration is thought to be the largest migration on Earth. There are billions and billions of zooplankton who do this every single day, so it's an incredible migratory process. And what happens, essentially, is when the sun comes out, this is the sun, zooplankton hide in the lower reaches of the ocean. When the sun sets, they come back up. And the reason that they do this is if the sun is up and they're at the surface, then the zooplankton are very visible to predators such as this fish, and the fish would just eat them all. But if the zooplankton go down during the daytime, then when the fish come out, they're safe because they're just not there. What would happen during a solar eclipse? So here we have a bioacoustic sonar graph that's been published by Jonathan Fram, an assistant professor at Oregon State University, and it shows what happened to the zooplankton off the Oregon coast during the solar eclipse in August of 2017, and he used data from one of the sensors from the Ocean Observatory's network. And what we see here, this is in the daytime, and you can see the zooplankton here. You can see they're down below the surface. This is below the euphotic zone. And then by 7 p.m., they've started to come up. And now we're into full-on nighttime, and this is the zooplankton up here. So then the sun comes up, now we're at about 6 a.m. And then during the solar eclipse, you can see they come up again, and then the eclipse is over, and they go back down again. So this bioacoustic sonar data shows that indeed the zooplankton did begin their deal vertical migration right at 10.15 in the morning on the day of the solar eclipse. Well, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, concerns, or would like to find out more, go ahead and check the description for more information, links. Uh, and go ahead and feel free to visit the Ocean Observatories Initiative website or the Interactive Oceans website. Take care. Take care. Thank you.